And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Hilltoppers in talking with them this week, Kirk, is just interesting. Their perspective on this kid, how good he is, and how much they can lean on. Yeah, you and I had a chance to visit with not only the coaches, but the player himself. And I got a real good vibe walking out of those meetings and, and thinking that he's going to have a huge game. The coaches seem confident in being able to get him the football in different areas on the field. This kid has a look in his eye that I haven't seen in a long time where he just wants to have a chance to have an impact on the game and on the outcome. And I, I'll be shocked if they can slow him down. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. To the 20. Spectacular play and now it's first and goal. This guy's combination of speed and his hands make him lethal. He can take a game over at any time. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Four down, four down. Ford is the mic. Squeeze. Here we go. And he tackles him hard at the seven. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. run up the middle. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. Third and goal. About a yard to Pater. I'm going to run you over. Let's go. Hey, hey. Ready. Red. Six. Red. Six. He scrambled. Keeps it. And he's got a touchdown. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. He makes the PAT. A five-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. And he is drilled at the 17. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Mike four. Go. Why fifty? And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Mike four. Mike four. He's wrapped up for the sack. Fourth and long here after the sack. He really got a hold of that one. They'll bring him down at the 46-yard line. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. Call the game of six yards. That brings him second and five.
from the 48-yard line. Second tight, down. Western Kentucky is up seven. He's on the run. He gets sacked on the play. inside the 44. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Fourth down upcoming as they go three and out. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. tackled at the 41 yard line and they keep it on the ground for the first down nothing too fancy here the key is that the running back was able to convert the first down first down 10 yards to go ball on the 41 yard line he's scrambling he's at the 30 brought down around the 22 yard line this is a pretty tough guy and he's a great leader he's going to do whatever it takes to help his team And he's going to be sacked. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. So the sack makes this a second and long. They come out in a five wide set. He's level at the 29-yard line. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Western Kentucky up seven points. Gray 95. Gray 95. And they got him. Outstanding job there by the linebacker to find his way through on the blitz. Sack makes this a fourth and very long. Western Kentucky can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he just drilled it from long range. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Gets it. He's in space. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. Quick out to his receiver, and they make the stop at about the 41. Number 29 makes the tackle at the 41-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Let's go! Fox 2! Fox 2! 59 Philly! Got a man, watch out here. Steps out of bounds around the 45 yard line. And he's immediately tackled.
scrambling around. Tackle at about the 45. That'll bring an end to the first quarter of action. 10-0, Western Kentucky. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Let's go! Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Sack on the play. Loss of seven yards. That'll make it fourth and ten. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. The offense couldn't convert, and that's going to cost him the possession. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Tackle made at the 45. It's a great play by the defense, but it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. From their own 45-yard line. Ready. Second down. And a quick throw. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. That'll bring up third and inches. The 43 yard line. First, First down. Hey, right, hey, right. Four down, four down. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Set. Mike, run. Run. Hey, hey, get Gets out to around the 32. Makes the catch and look out. He's out of bounds around the 25 yard line. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at the 10 yard line. That makes it first and 10. the 13. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. From the 13-yard line, second down. Decent run here, right side. This is the ninth play of this drive. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. He splits the uprights with the extra points. Line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Gets it out to an open receiver and just dropped it. Five wide. Strike to his receiver, no good. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. Booming kick. And he's taken down at the 38. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes at the 47. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. First down. From the 45-yard line, it's first down. Here we go. Ride 69. They'll drop him for a loss. That was just a case of one lineman dominating another and making the play. threw that to a guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky. That ball was only tipped. They're down and they need to get it down to the 35. Hey, hey, like 40, like 40. Ready! Red 18! Come on! Watch it all! Going deep! This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. Doesn't want to let the punt returner have a chance here. He just wants to change field position. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Quick strike to the receiver. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. Kentucky's going to take their first time out of the half. First and 10, ball on the 37-yard line. He steps out right around the 32-yard line. That was a loss of five on the play. That'll bring up second and 15. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he's shoved out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. From the 43-yard line, first down. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. He scrambles, runs it, and nobody's near him. 
Brought down at the 23-yard line. What is going on with this defense? I mean, don't get me wrong. The offense is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. But the defense is just letting them maintain possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive. Attack. Do some things to change it up. Take some risks. He's on the run, and they got him. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. And that one probably should have been picked off. Yeah, are you kidding me? There's a blanket around that receiver. Somebody else had to be open. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. Kentucky to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Well, we've played a half of football. The Hilltoppers lead it by two touchdowns. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Those big fellas on the offensive line, they always think they don't get enough credit. They say we never give them any love in the studio. Love. And we're giving <laughs> them some, but we're going to give a little bit some. to the quarterback, too. Just, just some, huh? Just some. Okay. I, look, they're doing a great job up front, David. I, I think the quarterback also is doing a great job at getting rid of the football and, and really just playing the game very wisely. He's managing the game wisely. Yeah, there's, you don't get sacks when you throw the football away, which is smart. And, and also just feeling where the rush is coming from and being able to step up into the pocket, deliver a nice strike. How about, too, when when guys are coming to get you and they, they get their paws on you, but you slip out of the play and you end up making a big play down the field. So, yeah, the linemen don't get enough credit, but also those quarterbacks, they can make those old linemen look pretty good sometimes. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. All right, Reese and Davis, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's got an opening. Runs it left for a decent game. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. They're about four yards away here on third down. The offense going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. And he hits him hard at the 48. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Quick throw. Run and he's brought down. That's a four. 
And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. Short over the middle. And they make the stop at about the 11. the ninth play of the drive. Makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Western Kentucky is up by a touchdown. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver Dad, look. Quick throw out to the receiver. Good tackle there in space. Number 15 on the tackle. The 36 yard First and 10. Ball on the 36. Gains his way to the 19 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Come on! Double tight, double tight. Four down, four down. Check by forty. Check by forty. Here we go. They run it left. He makes it out to maybe the sixteen-yard line. From the 16-yard line, second down. Ready! Green 88! Green 88! Steps out of bounds, right around the 12-yard line. Gaining four yards. That makes it third and three. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Now here's the line, here's the line. Western Kentucky is up a score. He goes out of bounds around the 11 yard line. That's a deep one. Fourth down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Number 16. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Here we go. Hot ride, 68. Ride. Tackle made at the one. That brings up second and goal. We've got second and goal. One yard to the goal line. Defense stacked in tight here. And he's taken down just outside the goal line. Oh, 
It's the 11th play of the drive. This one away. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. And the goal line defense digging in here. Scrambling around, and he's level at the four. Great stand by the defense, and they get it back for their offense. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 17-10, Western Kentucky. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. That'll bring up fourth and five. And this one is a beauty. And he's hammered down. Well, that was a great punt, and there was even better coverage on the return. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Western Kentucky up seven points. Makes a catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. From their own 49-yard line. It's second down. Ready! Green 90! Green 90! Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Gets past the tackler. They'll bring him down at the 42-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down right around the 28-yard line. From the 28-yard line, second down. again on third down just under three to go in regulation
He's scrambling. And down he goes around the 22-yard line. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Call his own number on that one. I like the idea of trying to run here, but the defense really made him pay the price for trying to run. The kick is up, and he's got it. Number Looks 15. like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Mike four, Mike four. Set, ten, twenty. Cut. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Number six was the intended receiver on the play. Two minutes left in the ball game. That makes it second and ten. Tight end right. Three down. Three down. Three down. Mike four. Ready. Black and five. <laughs> Quick release. Oh, had it knocked out. He threw that to a guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky. That ball was only tipped. Man, this is tough going for this quarterback. Next time out, he needs to just relax. Think back to all those practices and not worry about what's happened in this game up to now. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Ready, Just ready. under two minutes in the game. Goes to his back, and it's in and out of his hands. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. So the offense will come out onto the field to take over once again. They got three points on their last drive, but with this kind of field position, they should be looking to get the ball into the end zone. Makes his way out to about the 15. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. From the 15-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled around the six-yard line. So he turns the counter into a nine-yard gain. The Wildcats, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. He's tackled at about the five-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Touchdown, Western Kentucky. The Hilltoppers are so confident every time they hand this kid the football that he's going to do something special. Well, there's a reason he's the go-to man. And, and here, with everything at stake, he's able to deliver for them in a big way. And he tacks on the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Under a minute left in the game. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Brad, you imagine being the offensive coordinator right now? Your quarterback is out of sync. He's not making the throws. Now you're facing a pivotal fourth down, and you've got a quarterback in an offense that's struggling. What are you going to do? 
Oh, excellent punt. He's tackled at the 39. The Hilltoppers coaching staff stuck to their game plan. It worked. Yeah, give him a lot of credit for coming up with a plan where they knew they could find ways to get him the football. Even with all the recognition and defense being concerned about him, they came up with that plan and this young man delivered. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Double tight, guys, double tight. Four down, four down. Let's go. Hey, 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 Mike 40, Mike 40. <laughs> The Hilltoppers know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.